So, this news came out a little while ago, and I wanted to talk about it because it kind of was confusing, but on one hand, I could possibly see it work. And that being that we've got our uh, cast for Lilandra for the Dark Phoenix movie, which is coming out next year, apparently. Um, and they have said that Jas Jessica Chastain will be playing Lilandra, and she will be a villain. Lilandra will be the main, apparently the main villain of the story. To which made me go, really? Lilandra, one of Charles Xavier's greatest loves of all time. And a great ally to the X-Men and Empress of the Shi'ar Empire. Really, we're make not not her brother to Ken, not her her sister Deathbird. You know, both equal. You could do the Shi'ar Empire and make them villainous with them at the charge. But Lilandra, really, Lilandra, we're gonna make her a villain. But then I thought it over, because this, as you know, the Dark Phoenix Saga is the movie they're at, uh, the story they're at, uh, they're adapting. Can't talk. And in the, if you've read the Dark Phoenix Saga, then you know that one of the major antagonists was Lilandra and the Shi'ar Imperial Guard, because they were terrified of, of Jean Grey and her power as the Dark Phoenix. That being that, yeah, you could honestly have her as the villain, but not in the same sense, because Lilandra, she went against the, her and the Imperial Guard went against the X-Men to kill Jean because they knew she was too dangerous to live. And you could easily transition that in this story. You could ha in this movie, you could honestly do the same thing where Lalandra's looked at she you could you, not really the villain and what she's doing is villainous to the X-Men, but really she's doing this for the sake of her people and for the sake of the whole galaxy because she knows the power of the Phoenix is just going to wipe everything out of existence. So that could easily be the case, is that you could easily just have Lilandra, and I would be okay with that, if you made Lilandra the antagonist, per se, but at least have her not be like, oh, I just need to kill him, I just need to kill Jean Grey, because fuck you. I want her to be like, look, I'm not, I don't want to do this, and I understand she's not in, the Phoenix is controlling her, but seriously, I cannot, I cannot in good conscience let Jean Grey run around and blow up planets. I've got an empire to look after, I've got a homeworld to look after, and I've got a species to look after. So please, get out of my way. So, that's how I would like to see it done, is that Lalandra, even though she knows what she's doing is wrong, is doing this for the good of the galaxy. She needs to do this. I don't want her to be like, oh, well, she just needs to die because reasons. And that's what I'm afraid of them doing. Because we've never, because outside of Magneto and a little bit of Apocalypse, well, actually, no, if anything, the villains are actually pretty good in the X-Men. A majority of the villains in the X-Men movie, I should back it up, a majority of the villains in the X-Men movies are actually pretty good. So, hopefully, but this is under the direction of Brian Singer or anyone else. This is from one of the scre screenplay writers. He's going to be directing now. And I don't know if he's got the stuff to make that. And the other thing is, that's what I really want, is that, you know, we're doing cosmic stuff, and making Lilandra, hopefully Lilandra won't be, you know, evil goddess of death. We, well, I know she's not a goddess, but still, empress of death, there we go. And she just, oh, it would piss me off so much if they just said that Lilandra said that, oh, I'm just killing the phoenix because I want to take over Earth. If they did that, I'd be out. <laughs> but like I said, I would be okay with the idea so long as they make her sympathetic, that we have a reason to go, yeah, we need to kill, we need, you know, we could try to save Jean Grey, like in the Dark Phoenix comic, but yeah, I gotta do this because I got an empire to protect. I got a galaxy to protect. So that's what I'm hoping. That's what I, all. that's all I ask, really, is that Lalandra not be, you know, Lalandra be more, just like an antagonist. You know, you can have other villains in here. You could have the Brood, although throwing in the Brood I feel like would be a little much. I feel like the Brood could be their own villains. Um, and, you know, like I said, if you really want to go with evil Shi'ar, you could have just done to Ken or Deathbird. That's what, I, that's what I'm really trying to say here, is that you could have just done, you know, if you really wanted to make the Shi'ar Empire the bad guys of this story, and, you know, and still have Lalandra, you could have it that, you know, Lilandra escapes to Earth, hooks up with the X-Men, and she says, look, 
you know, I found a way to stop the Dark Phoenix. You know, I managed to found I found a way to, you know, I could, you know, with the power of the McCran crystal, we can reverse everything from the dark from the Dark Phoenix. You know, the Phoenix Force, we could take it out of her. Assuming, of course, they, you know, make it, they have it that the Phoenix Force is a cosmic entity. That's the other thing is that they've been very vague on making the Phoenix Force a cosmic entity. They've just made it like it's the dark, like in the previous continuity, it was just the dark side of Jean Grey. And that's what it kind of looks like in in Apocalypse. That's where they're like, they're just doing the same thing over again, is that she's just like Jean Grey unbound. So hopefully they'll be like, yeah, no, really, it not it's not really a dark, and it's not a dark personality, it's a cosmic entity that's latched onto Jean since she was a girl. You could do, I mean, yeah, I know she bonded with it, early, you know, in the Claremont run, but you can, in this movie continuity, you could have it that the cosmic entity, you know, that's what, get, you know, what supercharged her powers um, to such high levels. Again, it's movie continuity, so I would be okay with it. So you could do that, but again, you know, and again, I'm not totally opposed to the idea of making Lalandra the antagonist of the film. Just don't make her, you know, Ronan. Just don't make her Ronan or Hela. Um, just, you know, I would, you know, sorry I'm getting tongue-tied here, because the whole thing is that she's like, oh, she is the main villain, because a, a lot of the articles are saying that, yeah, Lalandra is going to be the big villain of this film, to which I say, isn't this, D Dark Phoenix is supposed to be the villain here. Did I miss something? But again, if you could have it that you could have the Dark Phoenix in here and the X-Men are trying to protect her from the Shi'ar while she's destroying everything, then I'd be okay with it. So yeah, but like I said, if you really want to do evil Shi'ar, why didn't you just do Deken or Deathbird? I'm just saying. Uh, anyway. So I'm not totally opposed to this idea, I'm just kind of apprehensive of the idea of making Lalandra the, the major villain of the film. Because, the you know, the Dark Phoenix is supposed to be that. She's supposed to be the big villain of this film. So anyway, you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Lalandra being the villain? Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? And if it is done as a villain, how do you want it seen done if she is the major villain? Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.